It's almost the end of the Splatfest, and here in Inkopolis Square, there was something I noticed. See these spotlights on the ground? They're all just spinning around here. There's one set here, along with an outer blue one that's just there. In fact, if I take a look at it, nope, it's not this one. Go back over here, and oh look, there's another set of three spinning ones, and there is another spotlight spinning around here, but it's got a logo on it. I believe that is Off The Hook's logo. So I, I don't want to make my audience dizzy, but yes, indeed, it is almost time for this whole party to come to a close. Any second now, and hopefully not with a really awkward pause for trying to load in. Meanwhile, we've got uh, to-do list. Sleep, 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 sleep. Yeah, I, I totally agree. That's it for the Splatfest! Splatfest over! Great job, everyone! But which team won? Hold on, the totals are still coming in! So we'll just let them do their chit-chatty thing as we listen to that wonderful cool-down music. And I change my shirt into something a little more, uh, not ripped to shreds. There we go, the prune parachuter. Uh, maybe, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll stick with that for now. So yeah, that was the Splatfest! That was... Is it just me, or is fatigue setting in for Splatoon 3? Because from what I've been able to check online and all that, no one really seemed all that enthused about an end-of-the-world Splatfest. I'm sure whenever, like, the big final Splatfest comes up, people are going to be like, Oh, yes, absolutely, whatever that is, although I have a hunch what it might be. But regardless, that jellyfish is draining from the water here. That's a lore thing. Time for me to make a couple of predictions. But we do know that the team that got the Splatfest sneak peek was indeed same old. Population-wise, that, that is going to be really difficult for me to tell. Because... I, I felt like I faced off against a number of other players while I was streaming. I did like one other tricolor match and it took forever to get a matchmaking going, but it was not a mirror match. It's going to be really close on population. And at that point, we know that Bucket List was in the lead, at least in the half, so chances are they have the open category. Pro category? Ugh, who knows? And as for Tricolor, that map was fairly balanced overall. Even though the one that I did for my VOD series was... <laughs> I was going up against three brushes on D as I was on defense. That is not a recipe for success if you're attacking. But overall, from what I could tell, it was actually a fairly even uh, defender-attacker kind of map. So, honestly, I have no idea. So my wild shot in the dark? As much as I want to believe in Fry, the meme is too strong. <laughs> I hope she does. She, she needs another win. She really just need one more win to her name. But I think it's actually going to be same old that takes it. That is my prediction. And it's not going to be by much. Probably only by, like, not even 100 points, if the way the math works out. Probably not even by 50. But, yeah, it's going to be real close. So, For me, it's going to be a two-hour wait. For you people, it's after this little awkward transition. Come on, you got to do a cool trick or what? There we go. Ooh. Wow! Oh, that is a talented jellyfish. All right. It is almost time for the results to be revealed. And uh, I happen to notice something while just meandering around here. We have Yunfei. We have Isabel. We have Wanhe. We have Yunhai. We don't have a lot of plaza posts for some reason. We have Vittorio. We have Marie. We have, well, one here who's got the flu. Sorry about that. Yeah, for some reason, my game did not want to load a lot of Plaza Plus. I'm guessing the service formerly known as Twitter is having issues. And speaking of which, it's important to note this. Eventually, the posts that... Uh, let me just head over to the mailbox. Ah, here's the mailbox. 
I'm not going to my post here. Yep, that's that's old news. So if I were to post this, I would have to go through either Facebook or the no, Twitter and all that. No one calls it X. It's Twitter. They're going to remove that functionality. But in Splatoon 3, you can still make posts to the plaza area here. So that will still work in Splatoon 3. Anyone who is playing through Splatoon 2, however, is going to lose the ability to make plaza posts at all. When that update is going to hit, it should be later this month. But yeah, that is going to be, I guess, somewhat convenient for us Inklings and Octolings that like doing art but don't want to share it to everyone on social media. But yeah, any second now, it's all going to change. There we go. Let's find out who wins at the end of the world. Listen up, it's going down. Wrapping the Splatlands, we are Deep Cut. Anarchy Splatcast, we're live. Here we go. You lip sync, we drip ink. Shiver, fry, and big man. Breaking news, hot off the press. Hmm, what's got you all flustered? It's the Splatfest results. Get hyped, don't need to tell me twice, yeah. All right, here we go. First up, Splatfest sneak peek results. The team with the most conch shells was same old. We already know this. They get 90 points. Bucket list gets 45. Wow, they crushed it. Next up, which team got the most votes? Get on the bandwagon for, come on, come on. This is going to be very close, I'll bet. Whoa! Okay! Uh, <laughs> 29.09 for Sable, 50.25 for Bucket List, and 20.66 for Save the Day. I wasn't expecting that. No way! What's next? Tell me! Time for a clout check. Open Pro and Tri-Color Clout results incoming. All at once? Hold up. I need a moment to cool off before all this excitement. I hope Fry wins. I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't. Oh, yeah. That's right. Look at that. Oh, we've got. Yeah, those are the results right there. Let's take a look at tricolor, though. That 33.42% for same old, 34.53% for bucket list, and 32.05 for save the day. Woo! Hey! And last but not least, the part you've been waiting for. Final results, right? Spill them. Listen up, it's going down. The overall Splatfest win goes to... Ack, I can't take the suspense. Oof, that is a close win. What are we going to do at the end of the world? Everything we want by 20 points. Wow, that is close. That was really close between the first two teams. Sorry, save the world. 395 points to 415 to 60 points. <laughs> World's end? I, I don't even have a bucket list. No, we didn't make it. Team Bucket List did so good. That's the spirit I want to see when the world ends. Good on Team Save All for sticking to our principles and not going the extra mile. I was so moved by the way Team Save the Day came together as one. All right, enlighten me. What are some of the items on your famed bucket list? Oh, you want to know now? First, I chow down while chatting with you two on an Anarchy Splatcast like normal. You host a snack review segment at the Apocalypse? Actually, that tracks. <laughs> then the three of us could go shop for stuff that might help save the day. Huh? That all sounds like what Shiver and I wanted to do. Oh, that's because the top of my bucket list is making sure you two have a good day. <laughs> Aw, fry. Hmm, it's far too soon for the world to end. Perhaps Team Save the Day had a point. Why sweat it? It's not like anything that bad is going to happen anytime soon. Foreshadowing. <laughs> wow, I am surprised Fry won that. That was really close. I don't think any Splatfest has had a score that close before, even with like the old scoring systems. Catch you later. There we go, 24 Super Sally Snails. All right. So yeah, uh, wish there were some plausible posts we could look at, but nevertheless, congratulations, Fry, on your 
second or third win, depending on how you are counting. Regional Splatfest counting or not. Until next time, everybody. Take care.